guys, welcome back to any of my regular viewers and to anyone new to the channel. Great to have you here. I hope you're enjoying what you've seen so far. So what I'll be doing today is a little bit different to my normal videos. This will kind of be an unboxing because as you can see guys, I have finally received my limited edition 114th scale Vilalo buggy for placing in the top 10 of their speed run challenge. Now I'm keen as to get this box open and check out the buggy and all the little bits and pieces, but I have to say a massive thank you to Vilalo for putting on the challenge. It was awesome. It was quite hectic because of all the deadline. But I also want to say a massive thank you and congratulations to the top 10 or top 11 that got this limited edition buggy because there was actually 11 people in the end that received this buggy. But um, yeah, guys, congrats and um, thank you for competing. It was an awesome time. Alrighty, let's see what we get. Super robust. It'll never get damaged in, in transit. Very nice. Definitely looks like a limited edition uh, packaged item. So we've got a full set of wheels here. We've got two fronts and two rears with the nice gold plated uh, limited edition color. We've got a Rolalo card here. Now I think it might just be a warning. Yeah, it's basically a warning card just to, to let you know what you should and shouldn't be doing. We've got four little screws and a diagram. That is for adjusting your ride height. The, the, the droop screws, so that's very handy. And a spare set of body pins. We have a very fancy looking four millimeter Phillips head screwdriver there. It is a removable uh, end. Use the, the one handle for multiple different uh, ends. We've got a little tiny uh, star head, or I'm not, not sure what they're called, but a little uh, Allen key type thing. We've got a sweet black powder coated wheel wrench. That looks very cool. So we've got a 2800 milliamp 7.4 volt lithium polymer battery that's quite a large uh, capacity battery that's excellent and we get the little 2s usb charger they're very simple very easy to use they do the job i think that was for placing in the top 30 four extra large and it's going to be a little bit big but that's all good might have to just hang it up as like a decoration sort of thing. Now this being a limited edition car, I'm not sure how many people are actually gonna be using the car itself, but if you need, you know, you've got the blow up diagram there and you've got all the spare parts at the back there. So yeah, very handy to have that. We got a foam front bumper there. Very handy if you're actually gonna be using this car as a, as a basher, I definitely won't be. Then we got the controller or transmitter there. I think most people would know what these sort of look like now not bad little controllers now to what we've all been waiting for so there we have it guys the limited edition 114 scale rolalo buggy gold, silver, and gunmetal gray. It looks excellent. The color scheme is is almost perfect in my opinion. And I'm not normally a fan of gold, so yeah, they've done a very good job. Especially the shocks. These shocks look sweet. Now this being the brushless version or a brushless version, it does come with all carbon fiber shock towers, hinge pin braces, complete carbon fiber chassis, So I don't actually own the brushless version of the Rolalo buggies or any of the brushless Rolalo vehicles. So I'm not quite sure what the specs are for the motor and everything. I think the, the speed control is a 45 amp, 3S capable speed control. If you own any of the 114th brushless Rolalo or Amarol vehicles, you'll recognize this setup. So I'm not gonna go right into it. This is just a sort of show and tell, but it is a very nice setup in there. We've got the three wire servo rather than a five wire servo that is the basic setup very easy to work with now there is one thing i would have loved to see on this particular vehicle and that is the top brace here i would love to have seen this in carbon fiber rather than the stock plastic one but that's not a problem it's a limited edition car i don't think many people will actually be driving this too hard or driving it at all we do have the carbon fiber 
steering arm there, or Ackerman's arm, so that's a good addition. Now guys, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with this yet, whether I keep it as a display piece, because I won't be using it, it's very nice looking and I want to keep it that way, if I do keep it, or sell it and use the, the money, the funds to go to something else on the channel, something that I can review and actually use, because if I don't use this, if it's just a display piece and I don't sell it, I'm not sure where to set it up, I don't really have the, the spots to set it up and display it nice, so yeah, someone else could definitely get some use out of it, whether it's a display or a, an actual usable buggy, I'll think about what I'm going to do with it. So there we go guys, just a quick look at the limited edition Rolalo 114th buggy that I got for placing in the top 10 of the Rolalo Speed Challenge which resulted in me going on and getting fourth place, which is absolutely fantastic. And guys, I just want to say another massive thank you to everyone involved and Rolalo especially for putting on the event and managing to, to work it all out in the end. All right, guys, cheers. Catch you in the next video. And as always, stay safe.